feed the water flood. It's a feed the water flood. Feed the water flood. It's a feed the water flood. Yeah. Welcome to Looking Glass. Welcome to episode two. This is your boy, Black Eyes 392, aka X. Please don't judge me for my tweets. Oh, we're going to judge you, fam. Bro. But. Chill on me. What? No, we're not chilling. <laughs> we're not. Because we definitely going to judge you. But I'm Ash the Stampede, aka the Fro Demon. Terrence. Oh, okay. I thought you had like a little quirky something to say. Okay. I uh... ain't quirky, nigga. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's your boy at New T Sage. The troll everybody loves to hate. And, mm-hmm. uh, the carefully curated coon. Yeah, the carefully curated. The diversity the adjacent nigga who's really just a coon with Wi Fi. You fucking talking about? <laughs> yeah, just a coon with some Wi Fi and a misogynist also. So, warning. Oh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Shadow Coon underscore. All right. Special today. Oh, like... we have a special guest. <laughs> yep, I'm the special guest. Church, Coffin Board God on Twitter. Don't follow me. You'll regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Church is filling oh, in for man. our boy Brandon, Dirt Devil with two eyes at the end. Hope he gets well soon. He got strep. Whole ass nigga. He got all right. Guy. Let's. He got you don't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> No bones is fuck, bro. Please edit that out. I don't think people want to know that. Nothing. He got the strap. <laughs> all right, hold up. Okay, let's get all let's get all the shit out of the way before we get into seeing it at San Diego Comic Con because a lot of shit has happened in the last twenty four hours. All right, let's just start with this Marvel shit right quick. So as of right now, Shuri is getting her own series. Shuri, sister of T'Challa. Is getting her own series. It's due out in October. Thoughts, concerns, feelings. We're we'll gonna start with you, Ash. I mean, yay! I don't really feel no type of way about it. <laughs> wow! So you hate black women? Interesting. I do. I do. Wow! There's a lot of self hate in this group chat in this podcast right now. I don't care. Don't at me neither. Go ahead, Terrence. <laughs> well, I mean, I just want people to. Buy it and hope, and hopefully the book is good because I mean people ask for it and she's a well received character in the movies. They go out of their way to change uh, her attire and her personality. It seems to the more movie style version. So I just hope mm-hmm. people support the book because if you, know you ask for it, that's a whole other thing. You know they not. People love to play, like and then once they get it. Hey, I just want people have been asking for Siri and some Black Girl Magic. Marvel's going out of their way to make it as accurate and cool as possible. Just read it when it comes out in October. And if it's your cup of tea, let's talk about it. Spread the word. Give little girls a icon to look up to. Don't wait for Marvel to announce Black Panther 2 to get into something. <laughs> That's a good way to wrap it up. Uh, for me, it's like I'm I'm re- I'm really shocked that they're changing her up like this because like if if you see from where she is in the current Black Panther series and you, and you see it now you, you definitely see that they're they're changing her to look more like her MCU counterpart I guess to to make it more accessible for casuals which I, I don't mind but since I don't really mess with Shuri like that but it does feel weird especially considering the, the current story to where like she's ascended to a goddess but since this is an intended for me I'm not, I'm not the target audience so I don't really care about the book so or such but you know i hope for the people that do want it i hope that they enjoy it and that they uh, support the book and um the author that's behind it apparently she's a, a very uh, acclaimed author she has a lot of stuff in afrofuturism so i think she'll be pretty nice for the title i haven't read any of her works or anything but i, I think she'll be nice for it i'm interested to see where it goes i hope the book does well and people getting it so hopefully they buy it even though probably won't happen that way but good luck to the title though Go ahead, church. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick it up, and I'm excited for it, because when it comes to Marvel, especially these days, the mainline books aren't the ones that I get 
like the most enjoyment out of it's always the books for characters that i don't expect to get books you know like for example like ben riley or i didn't expect him to get a book again and and shuri i think that's a a place they've been before but this is a character that they're not restricted on so the the new writer can come in and have a lot of freedom with the character and i think it'll I think it'll be good. I just hope people at least buy the first issue, give it a chance. Like they say they will, but they won't. I hope the intent of crowd that the book is in before it comes out. And like you said, there is a lot of freedom here. I think a, a person, they, they, I like that they got a person who at least has experience in doing like Afrofuturism in, in that yeah. genre. They at least got somebody that knows what they're doing. So there's a good possibility that this can be something really nice. So I hope it does well. Yeah, to kind of uh, expand upon what Ken said earlier, uh, Shuri has always been like the more spiritual side of the two between T'Challa and Shuri, because T'Challa is a fucking genius. I think he's what top five in the Marvel Intelligence Meter or some shit like that. So he's always been the science side of shit. So now we have Shuri kind of like Ken said earlier, matching her new M- her MCU counterpart, which is kind of weird. It's kind of a going back on the character because. She is dead. She's pretty much a fucking god at this point. But I'm excited. The only thing I will say, really, is uh, last year, around about around this time last year, we had three Black Panther books. Uh, we had yeah. Black Panther, we had Black Panther and the crew, and we had Black Panther, War of Wakanda. And before the month is over, the same month that they got announced, they got canceled by the end of the month. So I'm saying this. I hope motherfuckers support this book, because we got people... Begging companies for diversity, we have people begging DC for diversity, we get people begging Marvel for diversity, and then when the diverse books come out, people don't fucking buy them. They weren't canceled well, because they're bad. Accessibility. They, we'll get into that later. The hood but be able to get that oh shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I got to kind of talk about what Henny's just said about, or well, and Ken uh-huh. about the making it like the MCU. That's like yeah. part of my problem. I have a problem with that. I it just do. feels, you know, it feels kind of lazy. Like it does. It, 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 it does. almost feels like the comics are just accessories now instead of what the movies draw from. And I feel like that's just a dangerous place to go for, especially because I mean, sure, he's going to be in in what maybe four total films. Yeah. Like you base yeah. your comic character completely on that version. Yeah. I don't know. You might you that might run out. That much of a strong. I was about to say, it sounds kind of limiting. Yeah, yeah, you might be limited to to the things you can do, and I don't know. And, and like, you, you're, you're sacrificing your core readers for an audience that doesn't necessarily read comics. They're here for the movies, but they're yeah. not here for the comics. So, so you, you're also taking a big risk of alienating both groups, you know? Yeah, the, and the actors and actresses, like, a lot of the times in these films, as soon as, as like, with how the, the universe has gone on for so long, mm-hmm. they're, they're more... They're just like they're actors and actresses. They're not as much as the characters anymore. It's like you're just watching Chris Evans on screen or Robert Downey Jr. on screen. So Man, I'll say I this, mean, that Chris Evans more plays the character of Captain America yeah. than vice versa. He's not yeah, like Chris Pratt who deadass just plays himself on screen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's just a dangerous line to just walk on. It's, it's, mm-hmm. Their characters are losing. Their their spirit to me. Yeah, they're, they're, they're losing their originality and foundation. Because like like with, uh, what did he said with Star Lord? Originally, Star Lord was a soldier. After Guardians yeah. came out, twenty thirteen, they he was a jokester. Whole stick, you know? Yep. He, he became more lighthearted. You didn't see that that hard rugged soldier that you knew from Annihilation. You just just the new Fifty Four, and you're just like. It is what it is. Also, but, with um, with Quicksilver and uh, Scarlet Witch, their whole fucking uh, backgrounds got changed after their yeah. appearance in Age of Ultron. Like they went from mutants to uh, what the fuck were they after that? Enhanced individuals uh, or some shit like that? Yeah, yeah. It got changed up after Axis, or was Axis before Age of Ultron? They, got they just but, companies uh, just need to remember. People didn't get into the movie. A lot of people didn't get into the movies just on face value. A lot of people were fans of the characters before. So if you change them, you know. It just doesn't work. Nah. If you make a book, because they're not doing an Infinity event in conjunction with the whole Infinity War thing going on right now in the MCU, and I also feel like that's dangerous, especially with them also going back into all the legacy characters. Like going back to every single one of them. 
So, Marvel, I'm trying to capitalize on it. Yeah, the Marvel Universe is starting to feel like a tie-in to the MCU, and I don't want it to feel like that, but that's kind of where they're going to. And, like, I feel like that's going to probably make them lose a bunch of readers. Well, yeah, because, like, when they change unnecessary things, like, what really spun out of Scarlet Witch and uh, Quicksilver? Oh, yeah, by the way, you're not really Magneto's children. High evolutionary kidnapped you, messed with you, and then dumped you back. Like, what really came out of yeah, not, not switching that line? Right. Just, just change it around for nothing, just for shock value. Nothing really <laughs> came out of that. And that's really about it. Let's go ahead and move on. Marvel Knights in print is coming back, and it is featuring. Well, it's more of a 20, 20 year anniversary commemoration of the original Marvel Knights in print. Uh, mm-hmm. The returning characters, or the ones leading the charge, rather, will be Iron Fist, Black Panther, Luke Cage, and Karnak. And that's kind of interesting with Karnak because the uh, definitely really excited for that. going on right now. So, what do you guys feel about yeah. that? Uh, for, for me, I'm, I'm excited to see Karnak back because when AMAD started, Karnak was a, a sleeper book. It was a wonderful, mm-hmm. just just visceral street uh, street level book. Like the action in it was great. It was by Warren Ellison. Zafina was the artist in it. I, I remember when the, when the first issue came. You had uh, oh, just yeah. running through guys, cracking necks, slicing bullets in half. It was a real satisfying <laughs> Cracking neck! He was going through it. I, I liked it. It was, it was a really good. It was a real good fast paced action series. So, so I'm excited to see him uh, get a solo because I, I, I wish his solo lasted longer under Warren Ellis because that, that book was great. Uh, Iron Fist, I'm happy to see him back. Panthers is going to be Panthers going to be weird to do a uh, Marvel nice thing because when you, when you put him in, unless you do it like you do Man of Fear to like where you strip him down to just uh just the basics it, it feels weird putting him in like a uh, in city and city environments it just doesn't look like well his series under Priest was part of the Marvel Knights imprint back then and Spider Man oh, yeah, was, was also part of the Marvel Knights imprint back then he's not that he's not a particularly gritty character. Per se, mm-hmm. even though he cut, he deals with a lot of dark material, but yeah. it can work out. I think it'll work out because yeah. he's at the base. He's really just a fucking genius who can fight his ass off, you know. So yeah, he he's, he's a nice street level character. Yeah, his yeah. was great. Yeah, you have black character in the crew. Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Ron, hey, I'm there because Karnak is there. And, yeah, you know, protect Karnak. That's a good thing about, that's something I have to get Mar- give Marvel credit for. I-, I mentioned it before to some people that even though these books sh- tend to be garbage, like, Marvel will give books to just random characters, like, characters you never expect. And w- that's something I wish DC would entertain more. Just, just try it. Just try it. You might make some, you might make some niche fan happy that... They kind of uh, uh, they're they're doing doing better at that. Like they, they are, they are. Through okay. limited series and things like I mean, that. For example, I got I got Domino back. Like mm-hmm. I didn't expect to get Domino. Like uh, solo series. Though. Yeah, solo series really? by Gail Simone. Like that's that caught me completely off guard. Like cool. I needed people need to be able to feel that more what, for their well, character. How Marvel does do that? They do have a tendency to give books of characters that don't really need a fucking book, I like. Yeah, that's the other yeah. flip side. Like, yeah, yeah, they'll just give it to anybody. Yeah, they'll give anybody something. Shatterstar <laughs> coming in October. Yeah, like, why? I don't know why Shatterstar is <laughs> but, but for me, I feel like since Marvel doesn't have that just big, like that, that good cast that DC does, they have to kind of give it to anybody because they, they don't have those iconic, you know, B and C listers. Like uh, DC does, you know. With DC, you know, there's tons of characters I want to see and stuff. But Marvel's just like, eh, I guess I'll peep this. I don't, I don't really know this guy. I'm not, I'm not connected, you know, to the. Yeah, to the I feel that. Guys. So it's just like, if, if there's a new guy, I guess I'll peep this. Is interesting because they, they don't have that big vibrant cast that DC has for me. So I'm not, I'm not as, you know, excited for them to pick up new characters unless it's, you know, just just characters I like from certain spheres of the universe, from like the like Scar with Hulk or whatever, just certain stuff like. That. I definitely, I definitely hope DC does that more. All right, let's go ahead and move on because we got to talk about this all day. The big yep. thing for Marvel in the last couple of days is the man who's supposed to helm the Phase Four of the MCU, if I'm not mistaken. James Gunn has been fired from his director duties at Thor. The child and pedophilia tweets. 
And he was tweeting the link out to the oh, video. Yeah, it was it was talking about Nambla. Yeah, that Nambla shit was just yeah. It was reported that the man had over 10,000 pedophilia tweets. Shit like that. Uh, that's, that's insane. You know, after about four, then you have something wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, like after four, just yeah. Yeah, get him out. Someone's rattled, everyone's <laughs> rattled off some edgy joke that was like, whoa, what are you doing? But when you, ha- and like, when you rattle off like maybe four, six, yeah. you have a, you have something wrong with you. Something's right. <laughs> yeah, something's not right. Oh, man. Uh, it's a trend. The glasses is just coming out now. Man. Where they showed where he typed in the dates for it. He was yep. going back. <laughs> I was like, he was frantic. Oh, it was like, yeah. he was fucked up. And was then, they were going to be a little Comic Con weekend. This really came out on the on, on the worst weekend it possibly could. Like this is the this best, best, this is the best con ever. Like you can't tell me we had drama and fun inside and outside the convention. You can't tell me this wasn't the best. It was a wild one because like another funny thing was it was the day before his panel. That so yeah, he was going to announce the series, wasn't he? I think so. Oh. Adaptation that Graham Moore yeah. did. And like that's mm. what I get caught to. Which like Sony might yeah. like some of that. Yeah, I doubt it. I think Sony, because the, even though like, he wasn't part of the panel, like they shut down the panel. Like, I don't know. Yeah, they said no. We they said the Guardians of the Galaxy one wasn't even his. Bro, if yeah. I'm not about it, if we can be honest yeah. about it, Guardians one was mid and the second one was trash. None of them shits is good enough to even justify this shit remotely. Yeah, it's just the endings that bothers me about Guardians of the Galaxy one when he starts doing Cupid Shuffle to distract the wrong one. Was was since it. we talking about motherfuckers <laughs> caping, uh, you goofy motherfuckers caping for Jake for James Gunn are stupid. Stupid. Drax. Stupid Drax. What about Guardians Guardians of the Galaxy three? Fuck that shit. Okay, about the it's, it's easy to defend them when you're then you're when they're your friends. That's what I mm-hmm. notice yeah. about a lot of yeah. celebrities. Well, they well, make you I'm just like, how do you defend? I don't know. Dave Batista, aka Batista from WWE, tweeted out that while he was not okay with the tweets, he wants James Gunn back and he should be still be able to keep his job. Which I say, mm-hmm. fuck out of here today. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Didn't he uh share a link from like a convicted child yes. racist or something? Like nope. he gotta go. He, there, he was friends with him. Yeah, he's he in uh, uh, what what they call it? Uh, the Nambo thing? That that's like a little a group or something like that for pedophiles and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was just uh huh. When I knew yeah, what yeah. Nambo was, I was like yeah, the shitty part of this is that the fact a fucking MAGA got him out of here. Yeah, that just makes it funnier. Yeah. Like, you know how much of a piece of shit you got using somebody MAGA to look good in this situation. And it's also wonderfully ironic that they got him out of here. That Trump is still in office for. Yeah. It means that he's grabbing people by the pussy. Yeah. So you, know. you know, I have a thought. Like for me, it's just. The, we, these people, these celebrities, these people that make films and act and all that, like, they get put as the figurehead of the left, and then they're the worst people, period. So, it's like, it's just, we have to suffer with them speaking for us, because there are people who people listen to, and then they get busted, and then we look like idiots. I mean, so, at the same not, time, I think conversation needs to be had, because people Making these celebrities think of them. Yeah, when exactly. They don't really yeah, want to. Yeah, it's a conversation that is back. A bigger conversation about celebrities on a show that is yeah, yeah, but We'll get to that another day. I want to yep. welcome my guy, the Light Team Alchemist, Ed Cal Jason. Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing great, but I'm feeling great. Hi, Jason. Hi, uh, brother. How are you doing? What's up? What's up? Hola, Jason. Yep. All right. Yeah. Since we got all the other shit out of the way, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get. Yeah, into you're the just in time. time. The oh, big, yeah. This is the big insane San Diego episode. There's a lot has dropped and it's been announced, and yeah, we're going to capture it all. I just want to say, while we usually record on Sundays, this it kind of feels like an emergency pod because so much has happened in the last two hours. The whole weekend got some wind even. Yeah, the weekend right. is just been—it's been a packed weekend. Let's start with comic shit because that's 
probably the biggest one, not the biggest one, but that's more of the more tame shit. So, uh, originally in Forever <laughs> Evil, when Batman got the Mobius chair, it was revealed that there are three Jokers currently in the DC main, continu- main continuity. So, finally, three Jokers is being written by Jeff Johns and Jason Fabok under, J- I believe his Black Label imprint is what it's called. Along with yes, the yeah, Black Label imprint. Yeah, along with Shazam, Shazam is in the main being written also by Johns and then yeah. being drawn by Dave Dale Eaglesham, which is a hell of a yeah. fucking patriotic yeah. name. Yeah. Dale Eaglesham, I, I love that creative team because they were on the, the JSA creative team back in 011. Love those two. Um, the three Jokers things I'm kind of excited for. I, it's different than when I expected it to be because I expected it to be like, uh, you know, you, you're three different versions. You got your pre-crisis, your pro- your post-crisis, and then your new fifty two one. But apparently, it's three. Jo- it's the three Jokers from three iconic stories. You got your your classic Joker, your Joker, the uh, oh my Joker, 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 my favorite Joker. Then you got Joker who shot Barbara in the back. Come in, uh, <laughs> I mean, so shot him for the crime, like, was fine. Oh yeah, he shot it. Yeah. So we, we got those three. And, and these are three issues that are just uh, big issues that are in depth, and I, I want to see what happens. I'm kind of interested because it goes into Jason, Barbara, and Bruce. I, I want to see how this affects them with their being three jokers. Thank you. And I, I like how you said it was just it was grounded. That it didn't have anything to do with jokers from other dimensions, oh, right. or like this this metal business or whatever. I, I, I just want a nice guy. This Shazam, I'm really excited for because uh, we, we haven't seen Shazam in a while. I'm surprised that the Dio kept Shazam in a locker like that. With, with all his fans, you think they would have at least you know showed him in something more outside of uh, Dark Side? Yeah? Is that the last thing you showed up? Uh, with Dark Side Wars, yeah, I'm pretty sure. She showed up there, I think. Yeah. I think I would have gave him a miniseries or a solo or something, so I'm interested to see what he does uh, think back up on the coattails of his life, because I actually read the Shazam story the other day, so I'm, I'm interested to see what he does. Anyways, yeah, I agree, you know, I agree with Ken. I, I'm kind of, because you know, like when, a, a year ago, I think, they were talking about Shazam being like key to the events in, in DC, yeah, the so DC right now? Out. Yeah. So like, it would have been a way a long way. with with how long it's taken for it to come out. Like how important? Yeah. Like how important is it? I, is is he? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how what his impact's gonna be. Hey, I'm to back. I'm excited. And all his whole family here with him. They're like a magic power ranger team. So I want to see what that does and the different houses of magic. So hopefully Shazam goes with the Justice League shark and Wonder Woman and has that corner. So I'm just glad Shazam is back. Um, so the the three Jokers thing. Um, so with with Jason going back going back down this dark path in his own book, like that's the the beginnings of it, right? For the most part, could could be linked up to we don't know if lots of it lines up timeline wise. I just think this is going to trigger the closure. Yeah, he needs to be triggered. Hey, you know Jason, Jason entire fans if he gets beat again. Mm, they're just <laughs> happy that he's killing again. Well, he might be killing again. <laughs> We don't know if Penguin's dead yet. We know he's not dead. Come on now. He, he's not dead. Batman probably came in and bocked it with a gauntlet or something. All three jokes sure. are Batman. And I want to see the expression on his face like... Y'all know the um, y'all know the meme going around right now with Mickey saying fuck from Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I wanted to be like that, bro. Uh, no, nah, I get that. I want to see that yeah. too. And, you know, sure we will. But one, one thing I am excited about, I'm glad that Jason Faybach is uh, getting more work because I get, the, the one thing that, that really saved Dark Side War for me was the art. Because honestly, I, I didn't like Dark Side War, but the art was amazing. Mm-hmm. I, I don't mm-hmm. see how you saw it line about like this. I'm, I'm glad that they're putting him on another project and he didn't put him on more stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm, su- I'm glad to see Dale Eaglesham back. I hope to see him uh, do some more stuff too. I hope they come back for a JSA remark when they get there. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see him back. The fact they got two good artists on these projects. Can't go and push that JSA book into the death end. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the best part of you did is Stargirl. All right, let's go ahead and move on to Detective Comics. Peter Tomasi and Doug Mock are, are, will now be the detective team going forward. Uh, along with Batman is going back to his more classic costume with his trunks, which I think looks fucking stupid. Well, uh, 
Uh, here is starting with 993, so we got a little ways before that happens. Yeah, yeah but it's so, about four months. So. so, do we talk about the leaks that, that, that coincide with this and some of the other, other certain things with how uh, to remember the, the screenshot that you had that Tomasi was coming on after 1000? And then the upcoming uh, jail? Yes, but, uh, for those that don't know, it's a, like a few juicy leaks for the DC yeah, Universe yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah, there's a few. Yeah, but keep going. Yeah. Yes, there's like leaks that may or may not be coming true as books and things release. So, like, one was about Hero the Crisis and Wally's fate in it. So. Next week, read Flat 51 because it's a, it's a Wally West story, and that might be exciting. So, wait, what did you say, Terrence? Why is that man in these trunks? Crazy. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, don't yeah, like it. back to the husband, but, but I don't really care about that. So, it's like, yeah, Batman trunks. That would actually look okay in trunks. Superman that trunks need to be burned. Yeah, and because his yeah. trunks are dark colored, yeah. like, to me, it's directly yeah. contrasting. Yeah. But it doesn't, like, you can look at the fit and not be like, oh, okay, that's cool. But with Superman, it's like, trunks, like, and they make a big deal about trunks. They gave trunks away at C2E2. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't like traditional well, pandering. They also, uh, they remember the fucking, I believe, DC Nation number one, where they literally, the whole Superman story was about fucking trunks. Like, yeah, you know, that's more of a this, because... Yeah, I don't like I don't like pandering to tradition at all. That's oh my! Because I don't see I miss that sense of feel of just legacy. And just it's that golden age for the heroes. But I don't mind the trucks. I don't care if that one. Super fine to me. And then uh, all right, let's get back on topic, guys. Let's get back on topic. Uh, last thing for comics in some con, Tom King has won an Eisner. For best work, on, uh, Miracle, sure. Batman, the Batman, <laughs> Angel, and the Batman, I believe, on the FUD special. So, congratulations to Tom King. Uh, Ken, you got some stuff to do for some slam during the Batman run? Yeah, uh, Batman uh, has been uh, unsatisfactory. I do go with that heavy. It's the mid. The Batman award was not for Batman, I'll tell you that. Not that, I'm not for Batman. Right. Yes. I'm a flood one shot was fire. It was it was was for that and of course, Mr. Miracle. miracle. Right it's amazing, yes. but I love all of Tom King's work before Batman. Share for Batman. 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 It's Dark Side World uh, one shot with Hal Jordan. Batman. Yeah. Like, damn. Mm, well, the book just isn't good. You know, if it's quality, then I don't mind. It's also, not that I have a Batman uh, bias. Eisen it just wasn't good. Was Black Panther Water Wakanda also won an Eisen for Best Limited Series. That's uh, something you should put in there because a lot of people said it got canceled for not being good. But the Eisen say fucking different. So watch your fucking mouth when you talk about Portal Wakanda from now on. Dang, okay. Yeah, I mean, that being a bit like, just because it got, you know, canceled, like we did, well, I don't know. I don't know how they like gave Jeez, Damn, Diamond is weird. Diamond, Diamond is weird. I guess it's by. I, I wish that they would give these, these series a more of a chance to float instead of just doing three issues and then just action because you know it just isn't. Really you know. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move on to the TV happenings in the DC in some kind of uh, The biggest thing right now is the DC Universe app is finally launching. It'll be launching in, in fall, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, September and then the beta drops in August. Yeah. You signed up yeah. around oh. in August. I know. These are universe beta, so you can see what the app will be like. And you remember, remember. Uh, the current Fox. offer right now, the special offer right now, is seventy five dollars for a whole annual subscription. Plus, yeah. you get a seven ninety nine months on mm-hmm. for the app. Free. So that's a good go sign up for that right now, guys. Uh, and speaking of content on the app, we finally got a Titans trailer. Yes. Um, Along with everything in the trailer, there has been a big upheaval about Dick Grayson saying, fuck Batman. Ken, Ken, how do you feel about the slander of the Titans trailer? All the criticisms are, go ahead. Well, you're a new Teen Titans guy. Go yeah, ahead. I'm, I'm a new Teen Titans guy. For me, uh, I, I don't mind the trailer. I, I thought it was solid. And uh, people really overreacted about the fuck Batman. And I guess they're thinking it's, it's kind of being edgy and dark. And that's just Dick, General, Dick Grayson's, you know, general nature about Batman when he left him in the first place. Because he got, he got tired of his shit. You know, he, he was 
He was tired of Bruce. And it was hurt. So it makes sense for him to say, fuck that, man. They already set out the gate that this is going to be a mature show. If there was anything to be mad about in the trailer, it was girl slashing kneecaps. That's the avatar <laughs> piece. Now, like, she's the trailer. She's slicing kneecaps. Like, what Hawk going to do? Is Hawk going to piece of Are you sure? Because at the end, it seems like she's going violent. Yeah, bro. She's slicing kneecaps. Or Hawk. Hawk eating people. He is eating people. Yeah, bog of rage. Mm, he's gonna see Starfire. He might, he might snap. Yeah, but, uh, he you know, snap. He, yeah, people really shut their asses out when, when Starfire showed up. I, I, I like that. Just my only complaint would be about maybe, maybe Wig, and that's about it. And they said that's gonna get changed later on in the show. So I just wish people relaxed. They said it was for the episode that she was coming out of the, the disco show. So it's only for that. We only saw two minutes of the show, and people are already down it. People are already hating on it because it's not the cartoon. And they're talking about the not. Following the source material. Man, like, if we, we want to talk about people not following the source material, even the cartoon wasn't happy and go lucky. Like, this shit's not Teen Titans Go. The original Teen Titans cartoon was dealt with, dealt with a lot of dark shit. And speaking yeah. of Fire's appearance, Ash, I know you had something to say on this. Oh, I definitely. I just mm-hmm. did not see what the uproar was about. I mean, mm-hmm. she's an orange. Alien. alien from outer space. What difference does it make that she played by a black woman? Uh, and people were saying she should have been fired. Yeah, okay. Been so then what? Like it doesn't make a difference. Like I just I hope Anna Diop is that how you say mm-hmm. her name? Sorry, I hope she, I. She's been racist comments. I'm, I'm she has, and I hope she, she does an amazing I mean, job. I, I really hope she does. I believe yeah, she, I mean, uh, she posted on Instagram post about this. I want to say in the winter, in the, around December, about right. Now. Yeah, she clapped back. Yeah. Like, girl, you better go ahead. Yes, I, I hope she does a wonderful job, and I can't wait to see her on the show. The same, because like Ken said, my only that wig, that wig yeah. is not hitting. But other than that, wig. I mean, shoot, nobody's talking about how Beast Boy looked enough for me because Beast Boy was looking kind of iffy to me. Like, <laughs> he, he was looking kind of iffy. You know, like the Jolly Green Jolly. But <laughs> I mean, his appearance <laughs> changed throughout the, the season, I believe, uh, said. So I'm not really, I'm not really pressed on that. And I'm, I'm I literally just want to see the Doom Patrol. I'm, that's all I want. I, I want my Doom Patrol. I'm really I'm excited. Like Hey, I'm excited about the Doom Patrol because those are, that's my weird, the weirdest, strangest team to ever hit. And we're getting a whole episode focused on them and then a show. I need it. Uh, I'll say this about the Doom Patrol. I'm really only excited for it because Cyborg is supposed to be part of it. And I kind of want to see who's going to play Cyborg. Big yikes. If they they go with Cyborg, the first thing that that I'm really scared for is the design. They're going to have to... If they go for a design, I think they should just do the technologies inside of the skin instead of just the metal on the outside because it's either going to look really bad or not too good. Yeah, in the movie. Like if, 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 you, if you're on a, on a budget, then oh, yeah, I was like say. making his making his arm going to uh, you know shifting the technology that would be a, a lot better because if you're just like going to go gonna do this, gonna with that metal to skin design, like damn the budget, like they're going to have to spend the bag on this to make yeah. it really look good, you know? Yeah, true. Because because one one thing I am excited for is the the other additions to the cast. We're getting down a Troy. We're getting a uh, paperboy and Lex soon, eventually. So I'm, I'm I'm really excited to see that. I'm, and we're getting Red Hood. We're getting uh, Jason Todd. He's showing. Okay, up. yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's gonna be interesting. I, 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 will, I don't mind seeing something play out of that. And then we good off uh, Jason Todd. We good. So watch your mouth. That's what's up for you. Yeah, but at any rate, this is a scrub. At any rate, at any rate, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Right, you got we got the greatest one of the greatest animated cartoons back. We got a young yeah, justice. You mean Claws? You mean Claws? Listen, Young <laughs> Justice season three trailer finally dropped. We've been waiting for this show for I don't know how far all of, after all of the 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 tweet the tweet the tweets oh, about it. It's like, like Young Justice the, come back. This is the all the Netflix man. episodes we rewatched. We did. Mm-hmm. This is the ultimate fucking culmination for the Bring Back Young Justice movie. It took years to get this. And how's everybody feeling about it? I was really excited for it. This shit, it blew me away. Uh, there was a lot when of- I got the news, I was in class and I stood up and started yelling. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was at work, bro, and I dead ass walked off the floor to go watch that shit. Shit, and we were playing Fortnite, and I saw the dude, and I was like, wait, we gotta stop, wait, wait, before we go. And I watched the trailer, we watched it at the exact same time, and I screamed when I saw Ryan, because we're going to, to do Genesis, and I didn't think we were gonna go that far, and that was just beautiful to see, like, Orion is in Young Justice, so, and me, if I get a Mr. Miracle, Big Barter, Light Ray, High Father, Young Justice design, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. And we got uh, some outside of action that's also playing in the books right now in Detective Comics, but Brian Hill on the outside, so if you want to get some, like, Markovian outsider things, you should read that. It's a really good run right now. And one thing I'm, I'm, I'm excited for, like you said about the new guys, I'm, I'm, I'm normally not into the, the new guys like that. To me, they're just, this is cosmic space city for the most part, except for Big God and Mr. Miracle. But like, when I was rewatching Iron Justice, I actually really liked the Forever People and the, the way they talked about the source. They're really cosmic hippies, but I, I, I like the way that they presented the source in Justice. So I'm, I'm interested to see what uh, they, they look like in season three. And uh, we got Static back. Uh, Black Lightning, he said, fuck the ball cut and put on some real game. Uh, Gucci Man. <laughs> He's looking like Gucci Man. You just uh, fuck this stuff, bro. <laughs> they, they, they went full bug with Forger, which was uh, really surprising. They, they went full bug with him, so I guess they're, they're emphasizing on that. And I like the uh, the new team at the outside. It seems like Breon is going to be a main focus uh, this, this season. See, in fact, he might be the blue beetle with this character out with, uh, Hello, you know, of, uh, those two are back. Speaking of outsiders, there was a very slight Easter egg that uh, some Titan fan might have picked up on that probably didn't, though. Uh, the yeah. sister of Geoforce, the, the Prince of Marco, yeah. is, uh, is Terra. So Terra might be a prominent part of the season, or the, rather the search for her. How do you guys feel about Terra being part of the investments? Uh, call the cops. It seems like, what? Call the cops? Call the police? <laughs> 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 call the police department. They call her for a reason. She's been missing for two years. Yeah, she's a medic here now. The whole thing is that it's happening. It's, it's all okay. the police. We know. We know what's happening, okay? He's going to insert her into the team. I refuse to believe that the writers. I know they're going to be like, "Finish that." Judas Priest. Nah, I'm just going to listen to them. They're going to be like, "Finish that." Finish that. 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 Finish
Stargirl. 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 Stargirl.
and we gotta wait for Superman himself to come back. The next movie. December. December. Yeah, another one with in December. Yeah, one with Bloodlines next. That's that was something kind of expected out of left field, along with Justice League versus Fatal Five. I'm not yeah. really, I'm not privy in a lot of Wonder Woman history, so can someone tell me what this is going to be about? It, will, it is an original animated movie. Yeah, yeah, Bloodlines is an original yeah, movie, so it could be anything. Yes, and also, uh, it's Fatal Five. Yeah, that should be a original movie. That's, 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 why, that's why I was... I'm not a big fan of that. I'm, I'm tired like, of just the Trinity just being... Yeah, exactly. You give us something I feel like in that, you know, 07. They have the perfect opportunity to give us something different. Because Fatal 5 is a Legion villain. Yeah, that, a those are Legion villains. villains. Like, but you have since a like, the JL is more recognizable and it appeals to more audience, they're just going to yeah. put the JL instead of the actual Legion. Yeah. Instead of, you know, pushing, you know, something new into the audience, you're going to say... Well, who knows? This possibly could be like a secret Legion movie. Yeah, probably, I mean, probably, probably will, but I, I want the name. I want the name. Even if it was yeah. Superman, because I mean, Superman did have a whole era with the Legion, yeah. so even if it's yeah. that, like, I'm fine. Yeah. It's just that I wish that, you know, I, I want the people to know that this is the Legion. Or even if they don't know, you know, this will be an introduction. And, you know, give, give people a chance. If, if you want people to know, you know, more about your, your stuff, you got to put them onto it. You can't just put slap jail on there and then yeah, insert your character in. Yeah, exactly. I realized that Just League is a way safer bet than the Legion. Only because the Legion, the last time Legion were technically yeah. relevant was when they had a cartoon to the casual yeah, audience. I mean, they had a, then they had that cartoon, uh, Into the Future. That was another Justice League, uh, Justice League Into the Future with, uh, the Legion. They had Karate Kid, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of Legion cases, they had a movie with them. Well, but I mean, everything's gonna be a danger if, like, you, you go out your boundaries. Like, it's bound to happen. But let's think about it. We, we know that the DCAU has a, a reputation of making good animated movies. People are gonna watch regardless. They're, they're gonna watch. It's not like they aren't gonna watch. Oh, Legion? I don't care about this. They're, they're gonna peep regardless. There's gonna be an audience there if it's good. It's good. Well, I, I feel like, like they just keep working on that, though. So. I mean, we are getting stuff from Doom Patrol mm -hmm. and Stargirl and stuff yeah. on the server. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before they take stuff. more risks. Yeah, there's a, yes. big, there's a we have a lot of we got Doom Patrol coming, we got Swamp Thing coming, we have Star Girl. We have yeah. we got a fucking new Wonder Woman movie, the first Wonder Woman animated yeah, movie Queen since Queen. the one in two thousand nine. So DC, it's with their anime movies. Yeah, you have a point, but in general, DC's pushing unknown things a lot. So I feel well, like well, this I is really really like dark. I mean, yeah. And the biggest one by far, Batman Hush is finally coming. Uh -huh. One of the most uh -huh. famous Batman storylines, uh, kind of uh -huh. modern classic. Also, one of the most one yeah, of the most overrated. Let's let's talk about how does it fit into the theme of the DCAU. If they're still born with this new Fifty Two aesthetic, do we really want to see Hush in it? Because let's be honest, a Batman movie hasn't slapped since Under the Red Hood. You let's are wild. Wild. You are Let's wild. keep it about low key. Let's keep it about that. has not slapped. Low key. As, as a bad man, you are y'all so fucking disrespectful. Hey man, just I you know, nah, 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 nah. actually, 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 that Lego Batman movie was slapping. <laughs> that, that's true. Y'all niggas, I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. So the the killing me. joke was Bonds. Yeah, <laughs> it was trash. Yeah. Yeah. Not even even claim that movie to begin with. Sure, sure yeah, is. Man, Harley Quinn. Yuck. Mm. <laughs> 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 like, like ever since the new Fifty Two DCA started. That movie movies ain't been him like that. No, no, we can't bring it on there because Nightwing and him. Um, what? Like, um, no, no, no. We're, we're talking about them too. Those are us. But. No, no, no. Those are us. Bad man, bad blood? Yuck. Garbage. Nasty. Yeah. Stinks. Right. Trash. Right. You know, like, uh, just keep it in the back, man. Oh, oh, just what I will say. Nah, year one came out after, uh. Year one came out the Yeah, also the guy who retires part one and part two. They hear a saw on Arkham Fire. No, I'm thinking about that came out on Arkham Fire. Fire is a son of Batman. Good. 
Y'all niggas. No, <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, like, like I said, every new 52 beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Batman. He's a backstab. You will not say Batman. something is trash. Batman. 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 Batman versus Robin was bad. I'll give you that shit. That was disrespectful bad. to the court of Al- the court of storyline. But yeah, I'm not going to say that every, every Batman movie since like what 2000 fucking nine or some shit has been bad. Y'all niggas wildin. No, I didn't say since 2009. Since 2010 for, with Under the Red Hood. You are wildin. Okay, so we got, we got like two movies. Yeah. Out of the last joint. Because I count The Dark Knight Returns as one. And then Batman Year One is two. movies, bro. That's cheating. I said what? <laughs> bro, you buy it right now. It's in the same DVD. What you mean? Yeah. It is. You got I one and two. You got the fucking Lego Batman movie. You got a song on Arkham. You guys, that's not my man. DC, though. That's my Lego. Come on, about the DCAU. You said animated movies since Under the Red Hood. That counts. You're trying to bring out any fact. That counts. You know that but I love that. Saying, man. He's, he's that my favorite comic That's, that's all I got. All right, let's fucking move the same thing there. The biggest things to happen in the weekend. So far, we ha- we've had a lot of DC movie news. Uh, let's talk about the first Tame one. Birds of Prey roster got announced for the movie. It's going to be I'm Harley. so excited for that. It's going to be Renee Montoya, Cassandra Kane, Black Canary, and I believe Hunter. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. And Renee Montoya. Yes. I said, Renee Montoya, aka the, the question. The second question. Yeah. I don't know if they're going for that persona, though, which uh, I hope they will, bro. Maybe they'll progress into it. I think that's And then Lady cool. Sheba is in the week, or she could be the same. Man, I feel like the biggest surprise of this of this roster right now is definitely Cassandra Cain. That was something. Oh, yeah. That was something yeah. I completely the fuck out of Cassandra had that. Uh, it's a perfect uh, character. I know for, the reports yeah. that Michael Robbie wanted more diversity in this movie for this to be more representative. Shout out to her. But. We, well, I'm not going. Well. Well. Uh, uh, we, we don't need your yeah. opinions on Terry. Sure do. I hope Katana somehow, somewhere in the movie. I, I love Katana. I need her to be in it. No, I love her too. Which is, all they gotta do is just make her one of the mains. And yeah. I'll be I'm, pleased. I'm, I'm really surprised they didn't say Barb was in a movie. I feel like Barb is gonna be the Oracle persona and then it's revealed I to mean, you later she's that be, she was. She's getting her own movie. She has to be in it. She's gonna technically have to be in it. She's, she's not even the best bad girl. I don't care what yeah. they do her. She's not the best <laughs> And then they got the same person who's helming uh, the Bears of Purdue, which she's doing that girl. So far, we know this could lead into that. It yeah, certainly will. I think that's the one that's going to be thriving. And I'm excited for that. The cast has, has me very excited. I, I didn't think Cassandra was going to get put in anything. This, this is the first time we've seen her out of the. This will be I, mean, I definitely, I definitely expect her to be on the TV side before yeah. anything else. I'm glad I she's not she though. Yeah, I thought she was in Gotham because yeah, they yeah. 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 keep these characters out. away from TV. That one I thought of everybody. I mean, yeah. y'all, y'all hear something? Mm, no, I don't, I don't hear, hear nothing. Listen, I don't even really, really <laughs> fuck with Batwoman, but I'll probably peep the show. Good. Because yeah, I don't even fuck with like that. It's good regardless. And that's your bad, bro. That's your, that's your, uh, that's your feel. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that, and then we got... And uh, some other DC news, because I mean, Aquaman shut down this year. Man, we shut it down. Down. this whole week, we've been getting exclusive looks at Shazam. Uh, we saw the first... I think the little dude's name is Asher, if I'm not mistaken. We saw him... His first look at that, we saw a couple posters, not posters, but like kind of promotional materials. Uh, it's looking good so far. I think a lot, and this is kind of a bigger issue in general, Aquaman poster we saw, and it's just been a lot of slander and criticism for no particular reason. Oh my god, slander, we got trailers, and they were great. Yeah, Aquaman trailer Bye. and Shazam trailer dropped today within about 20 minutes of each other, and them shits were both great. Twitter, Twitter exploded the DC fandom. We, we were here. We were screaming and crying. And just, it was great. Well, Shazam. Shazam was, I didn't think we were going to get Shazam. So for them to release it, 
And then we went to Atlantis immediately after. Beautiful. It was really great. It was truly great. Atlantis. Uh, Shazam I think you should go down, down the list and get everybody's thoughts. Yeah. I mean, for once, I'm going to go first. So, okay. so Shazam really captured the essence of the fucking uh, ability that the best part of the trailer to me was when the wizard uh, brought Billy to him and was like, say my name. What? Billy's like, what's your name? Shazam. Billy's like, for real, nigga? For really? Like, <laughs> he was like, just say it. And she was like, say it, nigga. He was like, all right, well, all right cool. And he said it. And then, uh, and I, like, I feel I really like how self aware the, the trailer is. And you get, uh, you get him being a real fucking kid. And uh, the best part was, I think they were in the Seven Eleven, and Buddy Ass is like, <laughs> "You're dead now." That was funny. That was really funny. I'm really looking forward yep. to Shazam. Aquaman though, fucking Aquaman though. That shit was wild. Yeah, man, Lord of the Rings with fish, bro. Yep. It was so much. It's like it's hard to digest everything. I will say, Black Manta looks fire, straight fire. Ocean Master's looking good. The whole, the way they're building the Aquaman, the whole Atlantis, the scenery, the cinematography of it is looking really nice. It's it's reminding me of what Ryan Coogler did with Black Panther, because fucking Black Panther was like El Dorado, like the shit you think El Dorado was like. So I can see that. You know, they're doing the same shit with Atlantis. James Wan, so far from what we've seen, is doing a really good job. I'm really excited to see how this is going. I believe Aquaman is uh, coming out in December. And I'm fucking excited. Shout out to my nigga of California. She's been pushing this shit for a long time. She had a hot take a while ago saying Aquaman was going to be better than Black Panther. And if it, if the same quality of the trailer is the same quality of the movie, she might be right. Let's go ahead. It was always going to be better. Let's not go that far. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go to Terrence. Go ahead. Shazam, I'm excited because it's based on the uh, the Jeff Johns Book 52 run, and it like it looks if you read if you read the book, it's legitimately ripped right from the pages, like everything about it from train. I can't believe we got the the train and the wizard segment, and this it looks so pure and innocent and hilarious as a superhero. Like you just walk you down. In the mall, charging people's phones with his lightning. Like, that's everything about it looks so pure and wholesome, and it would be great for the kids. And all of, all of our, like, younger siblings or family members are going to be yelling Shazam, trying to turn into a superhero in April. And, oh man, I got to watch the trailer a few more hundred times, but I can't wait. So, yeah, and uh, Black Man is going to get that cost so much for at the end of the tri- movie. For that Legion of Doom movie that hopefully we're gonna get soon. I can feel it. But yeah, we're all going underwater at the end of the year alongside Bumblebee and Miles going into the Spider Verse. So 2018 and the end of the year is stacked with movies. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so who next? Go ahead. Let's go with Ash. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, that Spider Man, not Spider Man, but that Aquaman trailer. I'm not gonna lie, my dick was hard the whole time. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mine too. I'm here for all of it. Black Manta looked fire. Everything just looked beautiful. Um, what else? Uh, Shazam! I really don't understand why people keep talking about his suit. Oh, okay. Like his suit looks amazing. Like what is? Man, I saw, like what is there to criticize about Ash, it? Ash, I get in right quick. I got a perfect tweet to say something about this. Go ahead. So there was a tweet by a nigga named Sean the Terrible, all one word, and it was but it was verbatim. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 adding niggas on the fucking pod. What you talking about? So oh uh, this nigga said that he read the comic before and he liked the suit, and it's the exact same suit, dead ass, a fucking copy and paste in real life. And this motherfucker said he don't like the suit just because it's in the DC universe, DC movie universe, and that's some whole ass nigga shit, bro. <laughs> That's some hilarious <laughs> shit. You dead ass don't like it because you think it's cool to hate on DC. Big facts, <laughs> but wow. it, still, it still looked good regardless. That Godzilla trailer. Are we talking about that right now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get to that next. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm, All right. Now I'm good. All right. Go mm-hmm. ahead. Let's go with Jason. Uh, I like the. I like both of them a lot. Honestly, um, I'm a big James Wan fan. It's cool to see a. A lot of indie directors start to branch out, especially from like the genres. 
he usually makes horror because all the Conjuring movies. Uh, oh yeah, sure. And, and all of that. And um, yeah, he's really brand. The uh, I hate Fast and Furious movie. We did Fast Seven. Did um, like you said, the Star Trek movie. He's, he's he's doing good. I'm just excited to see what he's gonna give me with Aquaman. Uh, go ahead, Church. All right, so um, Shazam. It's like I'm a big Stranger Things fan, so whenever I see anything that sort of catered to that like kid adventure type type thing, I'm always in for it. And you know, all the hype leading up to it, the cast is, has been great, and the trailer is exactly what I expected from it. And uh, it just looks it looks fun. It looks like a good change up from like Aquaman, like you know, a few months after. So yeah, I'm definitely hype about that. And speaking of Aquaman, man, like visually, you know, like the the war scenes and all that, it really did remind me of like the good Justice League bits, like when they showed the the ancient war scene with the lantern and all that. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of that, like underwater, and it's just gonna it's just gonna be a crazy film. It, I don't know what else to say because it, it was so much in that Terrence said it was just. I'm gonna be drunk in the theater off of all of it. And it was fine. Listen, yeah, it was fine. Yo, are we live? Mm-hmm. I got some shit to get off my chest. I mean, go ahead. Uh-huh. You, you, know, you motherfuckers with your deep oh commander. I'm sick of this shit. And it's, like, oh, oh, it's, oh. it's a lot of you niggas who don't fucking read. It's a lot of you niggas who don't know shit about comics. The only thing you fucking seen is MCU shit. You think everything's supposed to be oh fucking God. lighthearted, joking type shit. It. Fuck out of here, bro. DC movies have been dark for oh, oh, 30 fucking years from Batman. The only campy shit that was was the Superman movies from like the 70s, bro. DC shit has been campy, has not been campy a long time. It hasn't been campy since fucking Batman Begins dropped, and it's been 13 years since then. So for y'all to expect it to be all joking and highlight like all, all these fucking movies supposed to feature discount Tony Stark, miss me with that shit. Miss me with that shit. Ooh, I'm sorry, she keeps Brad. Hey, I'm bad. Aquaman, bro. When the Aquaman poster dropped three days ago, niggas is nitpicking over a fucking shark from Getty Images, bro. A that was funny. Some bloody fucking images, bro. And yeah. Then the damn shit drop. Motherfuckers criticizing the suit for no reason. You motherfuckers have been complaining about how shit's supposed to be for a long time. When Suicide Squad dropped, motherfuckers were complaining because Amanda Waller seemed worse than the rest of the team. That's how the fuck it's supposed to be. You disrespect the <laughs> Motherfuckers complaining about Shazam acting like a child. He's literally a fucking child in a grown man. <laughs> What the fuck kind of does that make? You niggas do I mean, it's preaching the choir, bro. Yeah. They're not gonna listen. MCU stands, bro. Y'all get on my motherfucking nerves. Now, listen, I enjoy the MCU new movies. I enjoy the fuck out of them. I don't think most of them are good, because they're probably not, if you're keeping it in the buck. They feel a little bit, they kind of have a fun with it. Go on with okay. it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? They're making money. Let's go with it. But, I mean, everything, okay. everything ain't gotta be fucking jokey, funny, all type shit. Shazam is giving you that right now. If you, and none of you motherfuckers better complain about that shit being lighthearted, G. Motherfuckers hate DCEU movies and make DCEU jokes. Just like motherfuckers make, Mark makes fucking John Cena jokes. Cause it's cool to do. You motherfuckers don't believe the shit you're saying. You, y'all I mean, motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers tweeting for, tweeting that shit for retweets, bro. Y'all motherfuckers hunting for retweets. I'm sick of that shit. You, you motherfuckers, hey. you see two movies, and that's all the fucking common knowledge y'all get. Fuck out of here. I'm not shaming y'all for being casual fans, but y'all gotta stop talking about shit you don't know about. That's my rant. Pussy nigga. Oh, hey, hey. No, uh. Nah, I agree with all of it, really. Yeah. I mean, well, that little segment was brought to you by, uh, <laughs> I don't know. And he's angry. <laughs> and he's angry. <laughs> it was literally keep bro. bro. I mean, he's not wrong though. He's like, not DC wrong. This, DC ain't that. Shut the fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go ahead and do something next since we actually have the time, which I didn't think we were going to have. Let's get him back. It's been 10 years since the greatest the greatest comic book movie of all time dropped, The Dark Knight. It's one of the most famous and more critically acclaimed comic book movies. Yep. Yep. So, in my everyone's opinion, on how the impact it's had since you think it's been negative, you think it's been positive, and 
what your overall thoughts on it and how you think it, uh, kind of the state of the DCU is along with all the news Let me go. About today. Go ahead, Church. All right. No, like, no, no jokes. Like, TDK is a, is a great movie. It's one of the best CBMs of all time. The only thing I have to negative to say about it is, is it effectively ruined Batman and Joker portrayals for the rest yeah. of the time, for, for better or for worse, and it people are really unfair to people who play those roles now. True. That's all I really got to say on it. Shout out Heath Ledger, though. R.P. Heath Ledger. <laughs> yep. Man, all I got to say, Probably. Batman ain't got no hands. No hands. <laughs> no hands. How you no know hands? hands? Well, uh... <laughs> but I mean, I pretty much agree with what Church says. Like, it's great and everything, but like, now people don't want to give other actors the chance uh-huh. to play Batman or a joke. Mostly Joker, from what yeah, I mean. Yeah, mostly people Joker. Are real nitpicky about who plays Joker. I'm just like, like, give him a chance to do it. Exactly. It's. Uh, I think it's part of the reason because the performance itself is fucking astounding. I think we can all. Yeah. 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 The yeah. performance he's let did as Joker itself is great. God body like this. That's probably the greatest portrayal of any character we've seen in any comic book movie in history. So, and the fact that he died for the role, or died right after, uh, right oh, the whoa, whoa. <laughs> I died for this. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he died right before the movie's supposed to come out. That probably has a big part, because they feel it's yeah. getting their sacred at this point, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, go ahead, Terrence. Since you have some shit to say. Um, <laughs> the Dark Knight. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movie. God, I, like, it's so. Uh, it's not a comic book movie. It's not a comic book movie. It's a great film, but it, to me, it, it's just like a. It's a Goblin Central. Comic book, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a Goblin Central with Batman, with a proto Batman in it. To me, like you can, you can have the same exact movie without Batman in there. Like you can take him out, that's a and it would still be the same movie. That's that is not true. true. No, that's not. True. That is not true at all. No, like, Batman. That, that, um, that's some bullshit goalpost movie shit to me. No disrespect. Like this is a movie about about a fictional comic book city, up like led by comic book characters. And somehow it's not a comic book movie because they don't have powers. It's kind of what you're saying. No, it's not even they didn't have to have powers. It's just a law and order in Gotham City. Right? That's, right. that's how Batman yeah. started out. That's why I just think you guys think because the movie's really grounded. All three of the movies are extremely grounded. There, there's nothing too extra. There's not a lot of CG, mostly practical True. effects. Like, yeah. It's straight up a contained story. And that's why I think most people are like, it's not really a comic book movie. I mean, it's Batman, you know, he's, not wild, the day, he he's a detective more than anything. So that detective, that crime, that law is going to come first. That's what he is at the center. That's I don't cool. think that's what made it not a comic book movie to me. I don't feel the, the wonder of it like I do with other CBMs. Like, it doesn't make it a good. Specific and technical, and like, you can look outside and probably be like, that's the movie out there. Like, there's no, like, so, I don't like this. Just it doesn't feel like a comic book movie to me. Like it feels like a thriller. It's just like a thriller. Okay. Uh, and movie to me. In response to that, Terrence, uh, have you read uh, Dark Victory? And I forgot the, the name of the story preceding that. I believe it's Long Halloween, Batman, Long Halloween, and Dark Victory. Have you read those before? All right, Long Halloween. All right. So those are. Those are kind of the primary influences for Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Neither of those stories are particularly, I want to say, big. They're not, they're very, they're extremely grounded stories. They're both stories about Batman investigating the mafia and investigating murders. That's, those are essentially what the story is about. It takes elements from them. I'm not going to say it's a direct adaptation of it because it takes, uh, Dark Knight takes elements with the murders from Dark Victory and Long Halloween, stuff like that. You know, the, the holiday killer. So, ba- Batman's best stories have uh, chronologically been ground, more grounded mafia type stories. And that's what this drew upon. And I think it's, I think it's, it's it's bullshit goalpost moosing to say because these stories didn't do uh, something that another character's effect is that it's not a comic book movie. 
for example, Captain America and Iron Man, they're more science fiction adventures. Captain America is literally a super soldier. You know, Iron Man is literally a nigga in a suit that can fly. Uh, there, there's a lot of different things, especially especially in the state of the uh, comic movies live in today, because the MCU has really inspired a lot. Uh, they it's been good, good, good or bad, depending on who you want to talk to talk to about it. But I feel like it's bullshit to say the Dark Knight is a comic movie, especially when it, it draws upon two of the greatest comic stories of all time, arguably the two top best Batman stories of all time. And I get that. I get you want to feel uh, some some sort of like colorful adventure, but Batman has never been that. Batman has always been the Dark Detective, the Dark Knight. Oh, that's what Tanner that was saying at all. All the evil to be a wonder adventure. All that feel like all that evil man fly now because Batman is just like it's it's so grab like because it's so realistic to the point like as realistic as it can get. Yeah, for really some of the movies. Yeah, but like it's, it's not, it doesn't feel comic booky to me. It just feels like it's, it feels, it feels you could have like, like, you could have pitched this as like a regular movie to me. It's yeah, still been okay. I, it's fucking Batman. How much more comic book do you want it to get? Exactly. I, I just want to know what, what the feel that you're looking for. Like, what is not in the movie? It's a comic book movie. It's just a different flavor of comic book movie. It's a if that makes comic sense. Comic book movie about a grounded comic book character. Well, it'll take a lot longer to discuss it. Right? True. Yeah. But at any rate, Heath Ledger, he did that in that movie, especially with the uh, the boat scene. The boat scene, man. The funny shit about that whole movie, honestly, is Debo. Debo's ass. Tell him, tell him, give me the, give me the motherfucking remote. <laughs> I, I expect that, I expect to see that nigga nowhere in that movie, and the whole time this thing about damn, Craig really bust a brick up, upside your head, bro. Bye, Hedy. <laughs> I'm just Bye. saying, G. I'm just saying, like that's the only thing I'm thinking about. But he really did a really powerful scene, to be honest. All right, so I, I feel like we're probably not, never gonna agree on this, Terrence, but I'll give you your deal. Let's You're talking to me, Henny. I'd probably explain it better than he could. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, not now, though. Know. Later. I thought we could have a whole like, special episode on this shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, I yeah. still love it. Don't get me wrong. It's still the greatest comic book movie of all time. Mm, I'm not saying that. Yeah, it's the truth, my nigga. Mm, yeah. The other uh, San Diego stuff, uh, Steven Universe, got a movie announced. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, like Peak at White Diamond, which is which has been the teased in-game boss, probably. For yeah. For I was shook. So, I can't wait for that. Um, I'm probably the only one that cares. But Walking Dead, if you're the Walking Dead trailer, oh, I'm excited. I hear something. I got I to joke about this. Uh, Andrew Lincoln is leaving The Walking Dead years after most of the fans have already left the show. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You got it. But, at any rate, The Walking Dead is a great show. <laughs> Coming back for the part B of season four. And The Walking Dead is coming into season nine. We, uh, and we're now getting the comic book type storyline. So that's good. It's just it, it, it's a lot of drama because Maggie and Rick are leaving the show this season. Well, we're so, probably, uh, so then, what's the point in watching now? Thank you. I mean, well, I still have some favorite characters on the show, so I'm gonna be a wow. This should have ended this a long time exactly. ago. Let's look, 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 look. So I love. Them. Dead, book wise, I mean, I think Kirk oh, same. Writer, it's one of my favorites. But I think the thing is, what happens with books like The Walking Dead and a lot of like other popular books is when it gets a certain point that people start to love it, they're gonna keep pushing it and keep pushing yeah, they it are. and keep pushing have it money. because yeah, they gotta get as much revenue as they can. So like, I think the same thing would have happened with Invincible. If Invincible would have blew up like that, True. Like, we would have got everything, live action, all of that. There just has to be a point where you have to end it. Like, <laughs> there has to be some conclusion. Because otherwise, yeah, people are going to drop it off. Animated series? Yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah. I wonder if it's going to be a it touches us on heavy shit. Yeah. So, let's go yeah, to the be. last topic. Something that was spurned out of the Shuri announcement news. I know Terrence, the carefully curated coon, knows about this. But uh, the accessibility of comics, it's been recently said that comics aren't very accessible, despite internet being uh, damn near universal right in 2018. 
So uh, I'm gonna start on this. I think how many? I was about to say, can I go first? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Actually. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. My <laughs> this might take a while, but my whole issue with this was that people kept shifting the definition of accessibility. Now, initially reading meets, I guess. My thing was, you know, the people that are asking for these diverse comic books, they know they know that they're out there, they know they exist, so why don't you just go read them? And people were talking about accessibility, and then people were saying, well, the internet, library, comic book shops, comicsology, da 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 And then people kept bringing up, like, oh, well, you know, um, like, what is uh, the little girl in the hood? Well, you weren't talking about that. Like, people were saying, like, you know, if you know they're there, then, you know, does that make sense? Yeah. Like, am I making sense? Like, if you're you're aware... Go ahead, actually, first. You go first. But I was just like, you know, let's keep the conversation, you know, on, on topic. You know, if we're talking about being able to afford these things, that's a different, you know, type of discussion or, like, children... That's a whole different can of worms. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just I wasn't feeling that at all. And the people just kept moving the goalposts. The whole conversation. I was just like, y'all don't even know what y'all are talking about. Y'all are just on here mad just to be mad. Mm-hmm. If I can go next, actually, uh, this is a bigger top. This is a bigger discussion to have. But yo, there's multiple avenues to get into comics. Like multiple. You don't have to go to a comic yeah. shop to get into comics. There's there's the DC app. There's the Marvel app. There's Marvel Unlimited. There's the DC Universe app that's now coming out. There's Comicsology. All these shits are apps on your phone you can easily download. That whether you, can, you want to get into whether things people can't afford, that's a different conversation. But there is ways to free comics for free, technically illegal, which looking glass supports the official release of comics. But listen, there's multiple avenues to get into comics. It's not hard to get into comics. Now you want to say, little girl in the hood, listen. You motherfuckers gotta stop acting like the hood is just like the fucking Sahara Desert, bro. That too. Like, listen, I understand what y'all trying to say, but mo- mo- most of the motherfuckers saying this did not grow up in the hood. If you, you want to keep it a buck. Honestly, I find it kind of insulting. You, it, I mean, I've never lived in the hood or anything like that, but I kind of find it kind of insulting that people keep talking about the hood, like people from the hood just can't do shit or no, they're not smart enough to figure these things out. out. The motherfuckers saying people in the hood can't access this, people in the hood can't access this, the same motherfuckers who was, who was fetishizing hood niggas two months ago. Big facts. But I mean, here's my thing. The way that, the premise that people are like arguing about on Twitter is that like people can't access this, people can't access that. Well, we're not really talking about those people. If you, if you were living on community you can't afford comics i'm not gonna press you it's like right. everybody been in that situation myself too True. but i'm talking about you the person that's complaining about the books talking about the current state of them and you're not supporting them. you're going out yeah. your way not to buy nothing but you're the first one to say something and complain like i don't listen if there's, if there's a hood girl there's someone that's living in the hood and can't afford them i'm not gonna press them about any of that like that's just life honestly but when you when you complain and you try to complain about writers you try to complain about all this different stuff, and then you're not buying the books to begin with, I, I, your opinion is not valid. You're not a concern. Right. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to say. Like, they, they know that they're there, but want to get on there and complain and talk about accessibility. I'm just like, shut up. Shut up. Yeah, to my, like, to my point earlier about Black Panther comics, last year around, I want to say earlier in 2017, we had three Black Panther books. We had Black Panther, yeah. we had Black Panther, Water Wakanda, now an Eisner winner, and we had Black Panther and the crew. Two of them shits didn't make it out of the month. Like, yeah. they were still, they, I think they both got four issues or four, uh, one was six and one was four. Either way, m- neither of the motherfuckers made it out the month they were announced before they got canceled. And that was, it wasn't because the books weren't good as evidenced by World of Wakanda Winnie and Eisner. It was because motherfuckers didn't read. It's the same people who, uh, remember when America, America had the Beyonce cover? So many people ordered that book, and so many people didn't show up to get the book. This is a bigger, this is a bigger conversation about people who are demanding diversity in this particular medium and not fucking contributing to the medium. True. 
Now we there's hella black characters, there's hella characters of color to get into. And if you can't find if you can't find it in your soul to spend the three dollars or four dollars to get into this fucking book, that's more on you. It's always on them. It's but like, I mean they just gonna cast the blame on somebody else, like it's somebody else's fault. And ball. even if you don't want to fucking buy the book, if you're iffy on buying comics or you're iffy on getting into it, because I will say if you're heavy in the comics, this shit's not a cheap hobby. I will say that. It's not if you're heavy into it, if you're iffy on it, bro, there's multiple avenues to read that shit for free. I, I'll beat illegally, but it's multiple avenues to read that shit for free. Motherfucking, the DC and Marvel apps have free sections. They have free sections. There's free books all the time. There's literally a free comic book day every day of the year. The first day Saturday of May mm-hmm. is free comic book day. Like, you gotta understand that there's so many, there's so many paths you could take as to become a comic book reader that you can't just, like, Complain and act like no one's giving you anything. So it's not the case. Comic it's books are more accessible today than they've ever been. Exactly, it's and it's a it's a culture, so it's not like a lot of like it's not making a whole bunch of money. Most of the people that do it, most of the writers, they do it because they love it. It's not nothing yeah. that's robbing you or anything. Like them niggas don't get benefits straight up. Literally, they got people doing GoFundMe's for like medical bills for comic book writers. This is my thing with it, because I, after the initial conversation, I did, hey, how do y'all feel? I found it accessible. And it was, uh, yes, because, that, like, all of what you guys said, we got the internet and uh, all of the type of things. Now, there are some variables that will alter your, what, like, how you get them, like, people in, like, the country somewhere, far away from everything. It might be a little harder for them because they might not be somewhere, but they might, and they might have the internet or might not. So that's like something to consider. And how comics themselves are not easy to get into because they're like some people have horror stories about going into a comic book store about how it wasn't very welcoming or how it's confusing. So like. You know how comics are. You gotta read this number one that goes into the annual. Say that the uh, and now the, the new ongoing. About horse stories going into shops. That's that's a fair criticism. I will say that because there's a lot of do bros and gatekeeping when it comes to comic books. I will. Say I mean, that. even still, I just tell people ignore that. If you see something that interests you, read it. And even even if it's if that's like the big barrier you feel like that's stopping you from getting into comics, there are apps where you can buy comics. There are ways to get comics mailed to you. Phantom provides that service. Uh, I believe Midtown from New York provides that service. There's ways to get pull lists mailed to you. There are ways to get comics re- digitally. You don't have to. But people might not have like that steady hand to say, oh, if you want to get into blah, 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 then you, you should start. You know, I, with, I know with me, I, I try to go with my friends who's trying to find something so I could be like, hey, you should try this, 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 and this if you're if you're into Flash or you're into Superman. Yeah. So, like, it just the thing because people don't have that, the comic book friend to go into the store. Like, with all my people, I'm the, I'm the comic book guy. Like, hey, I know you saw Shazam and Aquaman today. Like, yeah, like, they know that's what I'm into. So, like, everybody don't have that person to go in the store with them or, like, to say, Oh yeah, you should look at this section because this is image, and hey, you don't need to read seven thousand books in order to get it. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really good thing you do, Terrence. Uh, a lot of people don't have that friend. A lot of people don't have friends that are into comics. They feel kind of weird. I know when I was getting into comics, I dead ass learned through Wikipedia. Like I, I was the nigga on the wiki on the wiki pages reading. Wiki page sage. I was that. I was that nigga. That's how me really got into comics. It did. It took. I went a year and a half for me to be like, "Hey, do you take me to the comic store?" And he was like, "Yeah, sure." Like, uh, it does take. It does take a long time. I will say that. Uh, if you, especially with big two, that's why a majority of my recommendations are like independent stuff, like because yeah. it contains stories where right? I start to finish. Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, more recently, my cousin uh, at underscore Big Tim underscore shout out to that nigga. That's my buddy. Uh, he he just got into comics more heavy. He's starting to read the uh, Christopher Peace Black Panther run. He's starting to read older Batman runs. He's starting to read Hope runs, stuff like that. It's 
it's easier when you have friends who are in college, but it's not impossible to do it by yourself. You know, there's multiple avenues True. to get into if you're feeling iffy about going to the shop, if you're feeling iffy about buying the book. And to say to say people in the hood like people, motherfuckers have internet everywhere, bro, everywhere. Well, I'm different. I'm not because you know people's situation that's might fair. be different. That's fair. Uh, that will give you that. That is fair. But there's there's avenues to do this, and to say that people from this particular demographic can't do it is it, it's. I will say it's harder for people in the hood to get into comics physically because <laughs> comic shops are becoming a little bit more sparse. But I will not say it's impossible, especially when Google exists. True. Like, for example, I got into Winter Soldier, uh, I want to say last week, you know, his time as Captain America, I, I, don't, I really don't talk to Steve Rogers, mostly, so I got into Bucky Barnes. I, I didn't know anybody besides our nigga Brandon, but the nigga doesn't text back sometimes. So, <laughs> I googled, you know, recommend recommendations for Winter Soldier for Bucky in general, and I got them, and that's how I got into Bucky. It's not hard to get into this. It's, it's a combination of willingness and the ability to do so. And the ability to do so is dead ass self driven. You can do Google. That's what I think. You can do read comics online.to. We support the official release of comics. And you can do the DC <laughs> app. You can do Comicology. You can do Marvel. It's really, it's, if anything, it's like Jason said earlier, or Church said earlier, I forgot, I forgot this one already. It's easier than wow. ever to get into comics, especially with the biggest thing in the world right now being complicated. So I feel like that's yeah. that's, that's a not a good stand to take on. That's not a good hit, hill to die on right now. At the end of the day, if you really want to start reading these books, you're going to do it. I mean, it's not going to be easy on some people's parts. A lot of people have a lot harder backgrounds than others, mm -hmm. but you're still going to want to push. And there are plenty of people, myself, everybody in this core, Terrence especially, which is kind of weird, because they were coming at him on that they're willing to help you. Like, willing yeah, to Man, every time something drops, I, listen, I will say this, Terrence is a king troll. That nigga is honestly the greatest troll I've ever seen in my life, besides Donald Trump. And Boy, shut <laughs> up. I'm, I'm saying, bro, I'm not lying. I will say this, every time a, a fucking trailer drops, every time some artwork comes out, Terrence's nigga is saying, hey, if you like this, maybe you'll like the series about this, or that inspired this. He does it exactly. so frequently. Yeah, if you go like if you go and say, "Oh, gee, man, all these superheroes, we need some people like us." Well, if you start at the ground floor, the comic books, you can we can get a Blue Marvel movie. We can get a Black Panther franchise. We can get a Luke. We can get Luke Cage and whoever else that you may like, and we can get a Black Superman on the screen, but. You don't need that. Don't give him no ideas. I need, I need to be on my screen. I need it. Let me. I got some thoughts on accessibility because I've only, I've only been in the comics years. I like superheroes my whole life, but I only got into comics two years ago because of the movies. Like I've watched enough, so I'm like, all right, I should probably start reading the source material. Because I got tired of waiting for films to come out to figure out <laughs> what could happen. So I'm like, all right, you know, enough is enough. And all it took me doing was either asking Terrence when I first met him to recommend me some stuff. Or just Googling. Or just going down to my store. Or honestly, like you all said, there's it's really easy to read comics these days. It really is. You know, I know there's like resources people don't have, but... If you're on Twitter complaining about it, you can read it. <laughs> if you have time to argue with parents about exactly. dumb stuff, you can you go read it. You have time to go look something up. Exactly. Yeah. If you have the don't have to call this nigga a yeah. curator coon, you can definitely find a comic, bro. People who don't have the internet in, in, the, in the hood, quote unquote, they're not worried about comic books. Big fact. They're not worried about CBMs at all. Also, bro, I that's, that's the thing, thing that got me, bro. I want to say one more thing. I was gonna tell you, less than thirty three percent of black people live in the hood, bro. <laughs> bro, damn, all niggas do not live in the hood. Bro, listen, listen. Listen, Jason, go. Go ahead. Jason. Nah, but go ahead, Jason. this is this is coming from someone who is like really super lower income community, terrible hood. Like we as black people tend to 
like try to argue like who had the hardest like all oh, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, it doesn't matter uh, what I wanna, man like a couple weeks ago something came on the timeline and niggas were literally arguing about whose life was harder I think it was like that's all the time I wanna say that it was all the time cartoon or some shit like that like I think it might have been oh it was uh, what was it it was Toys R Us closing, and yeah, people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I was like, how in the world? How you get hot? Poverty. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, it's really insane that people, like, just try to bring that up. Like, okay, we get it. Like, if you can't afford it, just get out of the conversation we're not talking right? <laughs> yeah, like, we, I mean uh, you know, we're not wealth shaming because you can't afford comics bro that is not yeah, you can't, if you can't afford comics then you're not on Twitter talking about it you, you're not worried about it you don't care about black comics you have a problem to be worried about it. and that is that's true right. that is true that's what I'm saying like you're not in this time so why are you so <laughs> like for me, accessibility is as much as you try because when you have Google at your fingertips, like, like, like Jason said, you can go to Reddit and find eighty thousand damn reading guys to see mm-hmm. what a character is. I, I, I think about it, it's not like Thomas and Tom because they're actually trying now. They're actually putting in effort. Like Diamond isn't stopping them like there was before. They're putting in comics at Walmart, like the hundred page giant. Yeah, you have the, the digital thing, the digital first thing where they're. Going digital and then putting out the trades first. Man, people who don't like the, the, the single issues. Offering comics, bro. Yeah. They're putting up spinner racks now. Walmart, 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 Walmart comics now. And up to date ones. Like they have Secret yeah. Empire at my Walmart. Yeah. If, if mm-hmm. you can't afford them, then you're not in this conversation. That, that, that's just how that's it is. That's what I'm you're saying. saying. Man, that's what's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's because people want to bring up like, those so and yeah. Right now, they can't get it. We're not talking about this. We're talking about you. We're not talking about that. Literally. We are talking about you. If you're in this conversation, you're obviously going to afford something. Exactly. And if you don't like singles, trades are out. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit are out. There are things out there if you want to get this shit in bulk. I don't like singles. I don't like paying three ninety nine for one, one piece of shit. So you know what I do? <laughs> I go and get those hard copy trades. I get those big ass books I put up on my shelf. Yeah. And I got everything. I got everything I need in one little piece of book. Yeah, they got them at libraries and Barnes and Noble. Yeah, they do. Go to libraries if you don't have the money. You can go there. You can go there and sample. You can go there and sample trades at your library. Go and check out these stories. If you don't have the money in your pocket, there's more than one way you can go to consume comics. Shit, you got Amazon. Yeah, we have tried getting it. Online sales. Comics Technology regularly has trades for 99 cents, bro. Regularly. Yeah, the Marvel sale. I the Marvel sale and the Marvel got to stop there because I don't think they, I don't think they want to wear. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop. But damn, because they tried to put it though. Like that was a gold mine week. Like it was a few yeah, weeks. All of them. Up to date books. Yeah. Like, I got like ninety nine cents for ninety nine cents. Big trades like. Epic collection. I got all of it for Empire. Like I got all of it all the time. I got, I got all my Peter David Hulk. I got all of it. I don't know if you want to advertise you getting Secret Empire. That's not 99 cent too much. I'm going to put that at I just knocked out on the street and said, get more value out of that. Oh, I'll do you right. I got a new theory for 99 cent. No, I'm saying like we got up just up to date books for not like it was up to date books for ninety nine cents. Yeah, like, that one can see to date in the conversation. They even, bro, they even shown comics inside of <laughs> cereal boxes, bro. <laughs> yeah, they used to do that. Yeah. Justin Lee, Justin used to serve yeah. them. They used to put comics in there. It's not yeah. like they're trying comics or accessible. You're just not trying. Google yeah, you're just not trying. Service. You're not trying. Oh. You, you just not. Well, like, don't say it's successful. Like, you can't just take a one simple ass Google search. You on right. Twitter complaining about it? You can go find a way to read comics. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 you got the Wi-Fi to download a comic book. Nine times out of ten, yeah. You yep. can go to Comicsology. They have digital comics. If you don't like print, if you don't, if you don't have a comic store, they have digital comics online. Look, I don't have a local comic book shop. Like, like the nearest one I got is like 
75 miles. Yes, bro. I don't even got this. I don't even got this. So, so what I do is I, I order off one. I order off one. Why we did it? Like you, you can get your For local sure. book shop the mail order subscription. You can get them to ship this shit in the mail if you if you really want to get into it. There's multiple ways. Do this. Yep. Yeah, and, and if you got and instead of spending your time typing out calling Terrence yeah. a carefully curated coon and a massage mm-hmm. pill, you could be hitting up sites. Exactly. Yeah, there are some other characters you don't know if I could use it to call a nigga a cool. You can type in a Google search. Yeah, I'll be typing in a Google search. Hmm, do I want to read this? Uh, yeah. Ken kind of came in and wrapped everything up with a perfect ball. That's what I was saying. Yeah, we're going to yeah. end it there. Uh, everybody go ahead and get your plugs in. I'm going to start out. This is Black Eyes 392, aka X. Uh, don't judge me for my tweets. Thank you for being part of Looking Glass this week. Go ahead, church. Um. Don't follow me. I'm ugly. I'm done. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this man, sir. I ain't got nothing to plug. <laughs> go ahead, Did you do that? Don't follow me because I, I don't be too no bullshit. Hey, yeah. I'm plugging this podcast. <laughs> I mean, y'all can follow me. Just don't hop in my mentions on no bullshit. Go ahead. Because I will block you. Oh, I'm going to do that. Yeah, do that. Hop in her mention. Also, the bear is the Nicki Minaj fan, so that's a talking about. Well, I will knock you out, Terry. Stop it. I don't All need right. any more angry barbs in my mentions. Go ahead, Terry. Yeah, I'm going to end this with Terry. Terry, you can go ahead and end this with Terry. Yes, yeah, I'm going to end this with Terry. 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 Uh, uh, go ahead and follow me at yeah. three nine two. Go ahead and follow Church at Coffin Born Guy, born with the E at the end. Follow Ash at underscore Ash the Stampede. Follow Jason at Cal Jason K H T L J Jason. Uh, uh, me, 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 uh, go ahead. Lucy uh, say uh, I'm a lovable person, so hey, you got a problem with my tweets? I'm a lovable. I'm a lovable person on the timeline. Uh, but yeah, y'all you know, have a problem with me or something, and tell me about it. Terrence with Wranglers and Air Monarch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, if y'all have a problem with me, this is all about how I'm a lovable troll. I just, I'm just your fan. Uh, follow me, and I'm a writer at Dead End Hip Hop, Comicosity, and some other places, so catch me. Oh, yes, actually, Dead End Hip Hop, we just released our 10 albums for 2018 so far so go on deadandhiphop.com and check that out follow me at Mutisage Cloud Cloud Big Cloud oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry we ain't got as much to gas up like you exactly. right? I'm real go, ahead and, uh, go ahead and follow Looking Glass at soundcloud.com slash Looking Glass that's Looking Glass with one G so the, G, the end of Looking the start of Glass shares that G go ahead and follow us there and thank you for being a part of us and we'll see you next week and this was the same yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Terrence wears Air Monarchs. It's a Fiji water flood. Fiji water flood. It's a Fiji water flood. Yeah, Fiji water flood. It's a Fiji water flood. Fiji water flood. It's a Fiji water flood. Flowing in, got away.
she loved me and she told me she spoke Spanish I said, my senorita, it's very nice to meet ya I'm glad to be here with you, mamacita Feed the water flood It's a feed the water flood